Irina, how are you holding up over there? Are your parents nice to you? How's the baby bump? I'm fine, Troy. Nothing to worry about. I'm so grateful they're here with me while you're away. And you? How are you coping? Are you eating well? Are you taking care of yourself? I bet the house is a mess. I don't know how you manage without me. You know I suck at housework, right? But don't worry, I have a solution. I asked my mom to come over and help me out with the chores. She does everything for me. She's such a sweetheart. You won't even notice the difference when you come back. The house will be spotless. Anything else you want to know? Wait a minute. You're depending on your mom again? I've seen this before, Troy, and it's not good. Grow up and do it for yourself for once. You're not a kid anymore. Why are you still attached to your mom's hip? You never lift a finger around the house. You promised me you would when I got pregnant, but you never did. You made my life so much harder with your laziness. And did you ever think about how hard it was for me to be pregnant? Sometimes I wonder if you even care. Think about how I feel. Think about something other than yourself. You don't get it, Irina. You don't know what's important to me. You have to understand that I'm swamped with work, okay? It takes all my time and energy. My bosses are very strict. That's just how it is, okay? You knew that when we got married, right? So how about the baby? Are you excited to be a mom? It's almost time to welcome our little one, right? You always do this. You always avoid the issue when I tell you something you don't like. You need to change that, Troy. You always change the topic when we talk about something you need to work on. When will you stop doing that? Oh, all right, fine. I'm sorry, okay? But let's talk about the baby. Is everything okay? I mean, are there any problems with the baby's development or the delivery? You never give up, do you? Fine. Let's drop it. The doctor said everything is fine today. No complications. The baby will be here on time if I just rest and relax. It's a critical time in the pregnancy, but I can handle it with my parents by my side. Really? That's awesome. Well, come back soon, all right? I'm happy you went there to chill, but I need you to come home soon. I can't keep relying on my mom for everything, but at least our baby is doing well. That makes it easier to be apart. Well, that's nice. But I wonder if you realize how much our lives are going to change. Do you ever think about becoming a father? Do you really know what it means to be a father? It means taking more responsibility. It means helping out around the house. We're a team, remember? Seeing you depend on others all the time makes me doubt if you're ready for this. If you could just do some of the housework, it would mean the world to me. Don't forget, I'm going to have a baby soon. You have to realize there are things I can't do anymore, like I used to. You know what that means for the housework and everything else. All we ask from you is a basic level of responsibility as a parent, okay? Huh? I don't buy any of that crap you just said. Remember what I did for us. I make the money. That's all that matters. That's all you have to offer here? We need to be a team. Can you do that? I don't get it. We are a team. My job is to make money. What's wrong with that? I know I'm going to be a father and I'm thrilled about that. My mom is over the moon too. You always bring up your mom, don't you? Hold on. What's with the tone? I don't know what you're trying to say. Is this about my mother? Come on, spit it out. I mean, your mother hates me, right? She always has something to say to me every time she visits. It's always this or that. She's never satisfied with me. I can't stand anything that involves her because I know she's just going to insult me. Well, that's your problem then. 
Maybe you should pay attention to what she's saying. I know she's already got baby stuff ready for the when the baby comes. She's so excited to be a grandma. But I can tell sometimes you two don't get along. Maybe she's not the easiest person to deal with sometimes. But you can handle it, right? I know she can be a pain sometimes. <laughs> how can you laugh about that? You know how often your mom comes over. And every time it makes me feel like a stranger in my own home. Why do I have to put up with that? Can you at least try to understand how I feel? Like I said before, we're supposed to be in this together. Oh, please. You don't have to say things like that. My mom doesn't mean to hurt you, really. She's just giving you some advice. You could learn a lot from her. By the way, have you thought about that thing we talked about? What thing are you talking about? Don't tell me you forgot already. I'm talking about moving in with my mom. You know, we're having a baby soon. That's a big deal, right? My mom would love to help with that. Really, I don't think it's that bad for you. She can give you the support you need. Troy, you're clueless, aren't you? How many times have I said no to that? How many? Put yourself in my shoes for a second. I'm sorry, Troy, but I'm telling you, there is no way I can live with her. Why not? What's so bad about it? She'd be there to help us. We could use the help, especially at first. So what's the issue? Have you listened to anything I've been saying? Are you deliberately ignoring me or just pretending not to see my texts? What makes you such a mama's boy? If I moved in with your mother, I'd never have a moment of peace. So that's it. That's your only reason for saying no? Not good enough. Don't you think that's selfish of you to keep a grandma from her grandchild? Wait a minute. Who's the selfish one here? I'm pregnant, and your mom treats me like dirt. Not to mention, I have to take care of everything in the house. Since you won't help, right? And I have a baby on the way. You know that, right, Troy? Please, I'm begging you. Don't do this. I know you love her and want her to live with us. But it's too much for me. How can you say she's treating you like a slave? That's really rude, you know? After everything she's done for us, don't you think she deserves some respect? She's only trying to help us out. It's not fair to act like she's some evil witch who wants to ruin your life. All her advice is for your own good. She knows what it takes to be a good wife. To me? It's the same as being her slave. I'd never have any peace with her in the house. I know she'd nag me every time she sees me sitting down, trying to rest. And you just stand there and agree with everything she says to me, leaving me alone and hurt? I'm telling you, this is a huge mistake. I hate to say it, but I won't survive in the house where she lives. Don't you get it? I can't be any clearer. Please, Troy, I'm begging you to change your mind. What? So you're saying there's no way at all? How can you say that? Why does it have to be now? Have you ever thought about that? What about having her come after the baby is born and things are calm? I think that would be better for everyone. Think about what we'll be facing soon. We'll have a new baby and all that comes with it. That means I have no time for your mother and her demands. Wait, you're not making sense. First, you say it's never going to happen. And now you're saying she should come later. Make up your mind. You just don't want to hear from my mom, am I right? All you say is that my mother is the worst person in the world for trying to help you. I totally disagree with that. What's so bad about it? She's just sharing her wisdom with you. If that's what you really think, then fine. Don't you see? I just can't stand the idea of her being with us right now. Well, there's one way I can think of to make this work. If you would only help more with the housework. 
If you could take some responsibility, then we wouldn't need the extra help from your mom. You know, that's absurd. Don't you see the problem with what you're saying? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm just telling you the truth. In any case, I'm making it crystal clear that I don't want to live with her. My mom just called me. I'll talk to you later. Good night. And please, think this over. Troy, are you home yet? No, I just got off work. I'm on my way home right now. Well, there's something I need to ask you. What is it? Is something wrong? Be honest with me. Have you moved in with your mom without telling me? Why do you say that? Something happened today around noon. I asked our neighbor Julia to water the flowers in our backyard for us since you never do it. You were at work, right? The house should have been empty. But Julia told me there was an older woman in the house unpacking boxes in the living room. What's going on? Well, you see, I told you she was helping me with the chores, right? That's what was going on. No, that's not what was going on. Your mom came out of the house and yelled at Julia. Julia had no idea who she was. So, when she asked, your mom said she lived there. Explain that to me. Hmm. <sighs> I guess there's no hiding it anymore. I wanted to surprise you when you got back. What's wrong with you? I told you very clearly that I didn't want this to happen. And yet you went and did it behind my back. Why the hell did you do that? I can't believe you ignored me. Well, you see, even if I told you, you'd just say no, right? So I just made a quick decision to get things done. If I did it before you got back, you'd have no choice but to accept it. So you thought you could just steamroll me? That I wouldn't have a say in this? What were you thinking? I can't believe you. What's wrong with you? Oh, come on now. This is how it is now. You can't change it, so you might as well deal with it. I mean... Think about how amazing it is that my mother is doing the housework at her age. While you were gone, she took care of everything. Why are you making such a fuss about this? Don't you see there's more to this? That place where you are is our house. It's our house as a couple where we make a life together. Why are you doing whatever you want when I told you I don't want to live with your mom? What are you thinking? Come on. I'm the one paying the rent here, honey. And I told you many times that she wanted to live with us, right? I made it very clear. So I don't know why you're acting like this. You're the only one who has a problem with this. I had to do what I thought was best. As the man of the house, I have that right. What do you mean you had to do it? You have to realize this is something that affects our life together from now on. This marriage is a partnership, right? You have no right to make a decision like this by yourself, especially after I told you not to. We're a couple. How could you do this without me? Who do you think you are? I let you go visit your parents on my money, and this is how you talk to me? When it comes down to it, I'm the boss of the house. End of story. I call the shots. You're being so selfish. I'm shocked at how you're acting. You're really showing your true colors here. I told you over and over again. How could you think that this was a good idea for me? I'm pregnant, for God's sake. I told you, your mother and I can't stand each other. And I didn't want her here. Now I have to deal with the stress of being pregnant and the stress of living with her every day. You clearly don't care about how I feel. And what do you mean you gave me permission? Who do you think you are? I'm not your slave, and I needed a break from doing everything around the house. 
but what you're really saying is I didn't help you enough. That's how you make this all my fault. You blame me for everything, and I don't think that's fair. You're the reason why she's living with us now. She'll help with everything since you can't handle it. I'm tired of being the villain when I work hard to support you and our baby. Seriously? You need to see a therapist. You're a sociopath. You have no empathy for me at all. Do you remember when I was sick all the time from morning sickness? Do you remember what your mom did? She took away all the food and said I wouldn't throw up if I didn't eat. I can't stand the thought of living with her. What else do I have to say to you to make you understand that? I've been biting my tongue for a while, but I can't take it anymore. Just because you're pregnant doesn't make you special. You don't get to act like a princess. Why do you act like you're better than me? I don't get it. Oh my god. You're kidding me! I mean, look at yourself. You say you can't do housework because you're pregnant and you don't want to deal with my mother and it's going to be hard after the baby is born. Is that right? Because that's what I hear. But what I don't get is how you think you can boss me around. Why do you act like you're the boss just because you're pregnant? You're not special. Any woman can do it. Have you forgotten who pays for everything and puts up with you? I have no words. Is that really how you think? Is that all you see? I was thinking about what is best for us. But you were just thinking about how to ignore me and get your mommy to live with us. Well, I'm right, aren't I? Look, you're a housewife, right? That means, you see, without me, you'd have nothing. That means your opinions don't matter. Who are you? You're not the man I married. What happened to you? I should ask you the same thing. I didn't know you could be this selfish. Look, this whole conversation is a waste of time. Let me make it simple for you. If you don't want to live with my mom, then we're getting a divorce. Wow, just when I thought this couldn't get worse. Unbelievable. You did this to yourself by bringing your mother to live with us without asking me. How dare you say that? I'm having a baby soon. Don't you get that? Weeks away! All this stress is bad for me and the baby. Do you really think that's the best thing to do? How could this be the right time for this? You're the one who's causing trouble here. You never listen to me. And if we get divorced, you'll be the one who loses. Me? I don't care what happens. I can live well either way. Troy, this is unbelievable. I'm speechless. You've changed so much since I got pregnant. You never used to talk like this. Not even as a joke. How long have you been planning to move her in? For a long time. Actually, it was ever since she gave me some valuable advice. She said that when you become a father, you don't let your wife boss you around. I was putting up with this until now. But I used this opportunity to change things. I followed her advice and I think it was the right choice. I'm tired of being ordered around by someone who has no say in this marriage. So you're just putting your mother's opinions above mine? And that's how it's going to be from now on? Forever? Forever? Who knows? But for now, yes. I have to listen to my mom's advice. She knows what she's talking about, and you just whine about it anyway. So there's nothing to talk about. I'm ready to divorce you. How do you like that? Enough. Enough. Just give me some time to think about this. You can at least do that, right? Or are you so heartless that you want me to answer you right now? Fine, I'll give you a little time. Not that you have any choice in this. <laughs> Go ahead, think it over. But the clock is ticking. <sighs> I'll think about it. Yeah. 
Irina, it's been a week since you gave birth, right? So when are you coming back from your parents' place? Mom says she wants to see her grandkid soon and won't take no for an answer. We're all waiting. My daughter and grandchild are gone for good. I do realize how hard this will be on you and your mother. But please let her know she won't be meeting the two of them. Huh? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? My daughter and grandchild are gone for good. Who is this? Is this Alice? That's correct. Thanks for taking care of my daughter up until now. But unfortunately, that is the situation. Just a minute. Are you serious about them being gone? You've got to be joking, surely. Did they die? What happened? Go ahead and take my word any way you choose. Irina and the grandchild are no longer here. So they won't be coming back to you. I really don't understand what's going on here. She just gave birth not too long ago. I mean, she told me she did at least. Apparently, I wasn't welcome there after recent events. But everything seemed fine then. What do you mean, gone? Right after giving birth and getting out of the hospital, the two got into an accident. I have to tell you, Irina seemed truly distressed recently. That must have been the reason for all of this happening. She was distressed? What kind of accident was she in? Stop playing games and tell me what happened. Yes. She said she would go out for a walk and then got hit. So I guess she wasn't properly concentrating on the traffic around her. But why didn't you get in touch with me right away? I mean, this is about my wife and child. How could this happen? I'm frantic. I really didn't want to have to say this, but you are the reason for this accident. And as her mother, there are some things that one cannot forgive. That is precisely why I didn't get in touch with you. What do you mean I'm the reason? What could make you say that? I mean, bringing your mother into your house without any warning given to Irina. She was distressed over that for days. Going around in a haze, even so that she got in that accident. Surely now you understand, don't you? It can't be. It just can't. All I wanted was for us to live together with my mother. There was no intention there to make things so hard on Irina. I heard about your mother and about you from Irina. You were putting excessive demands on a pregnant woman, weren't you? And that's precisely why she was against all of you living together. You completely disregarded Irina's feelings and wishes. But I explained to Irina the plan for us all to live together. It's true that she may not have been entirely reconciled with the idea. How could this all happen? I really can't believe it would be something that would distress her to that extent. I am amazed you can say that after you tell her you would get a divorce if she didn't accept you were all living together. She was already under enough pressure from you and your mother. And you really think she wouldn't be more distressed hearing that? What were you thinking? I suppose you're right. You must have been bluffing. I bet you thought there would be no way she'd actually break things off with you. You bullied her. This is mental abuse, no doubt about it. What sort of man are you? Did you purposely want to stress her out? Or are you just that inconsiderate that you just didn't care? I wasn't thinking that at all. I didn't intend that to happen. Ha! <laughs> I don't believe that. You had to be thinking that, so you tried to force her hand and make her do what you wanted. This happened because of you. Try and deny it all you want. This happened because you were a selfish coward that had to have things your way. It's also time for you to rethink your relationship with your mother. Goodbye! Irina, I'm so sorry. But I know that won't cut it. I know this won't atone for what I did, but I cut off my relations with my mother. I wanted to at least go to your funeral. It's too late now, but I'm sorry for being such a bad husband. What was I thinking? What do you mean by a funeral? I happen to be fine. What are you going on about? 
wait, Irina? How can you be responding to this? What's going on? Not sure what to say here. I'm just responding to your weird text that came in all of a sudden. What's going on with you? And when was my funeral supposed to have happened? Please, let me know. No, I mean, you... Your mother said that you and our child had died. I have the thread here on my phone, so I know about that. But she only said we were gone, right? I don't think she said there would be a funeral because, you know, I'm not dead. But isn't that what you normally think? I heard you were in an accident. Are you alright? What happened to you? It was just a glancing blow from a car. It made me a bit anxious, but I didn't even have to go to the hospital. Nice of you to be concerned for me, though. Putting that aside, it really looks like you were told off by my mom. She can really work up a lather when she gets going. That's right, your mom. She said you'd been in an accident. That you died. Why would she lie like that? My mom didn't lie to you at all. Although, what she wrote may have been misleading. She didn't lie. How can you say that? I was really and truly told that both of you were dead. I took it to be true and went ahead and cut off relations with my mother. What part of your mom's words wasn't a lie? Well, I have to admit, it was a light blow and I'm not injured. But I really did get into an accident. I already heard about that, but the talk about you dying, that's clearly a lie. You've got to admit that. I was told you two wouldn't be coming back. It scared me. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, I have no plans to return to you. Huh? What's that mean? What are you saying? When my mom said we were gone for good, that's about your wife and kid. It means you've lost your wife and child. Got it? Since I have no plans at all to go back, it's the same as being gone for good. She did a fine job of describing the situation. Oh, come now, that's just playing with words. What I'm really trying to say is, why did she do something like that? I've been frantic. Why? You just talked about it yourself. You swallowed what my mom said hook, line, and sinker and cut off ties with your mom. What she said was to get you to do that. What? This makes no sense to me. Why do you have to cut off the relationship between me and my mom? You know how important it is to us. How dare you do that? When you neglect your own precious daughter and give your mother priority, even when it was time for me to be giving birth, how do you think my mother could forgive such a jerk? Can't you see that? So this was all out of spite to get back at me. Exactly. And you fell for it. What a joke. How can you say that? This is not a laughing matter. What are you trying to do? My mom thinks you're really both dead and gone. She was weeping over you. Yes, and it's easier if you keep it this way. Would be a drag to get all sorts of flack about this after I divorced you. I can't let that cramp my style. So it's divorce. Divorce? Are you serious? You've done all this stuff to me. And you think it's still not enough that you need to go through with a divorce? Look. I already told you I wasn't coming back, right? And what do you mean by doing all that stuff? You lied to me and made me break off ties with my own mother. Come on, isn't that enough? What kind of a sadist are you? This is the worst. I've worked so hard to keep you living comfortably. No. I was treated like a slave by a mother-in-law who barges her way in while I'm pregnant. And not even rescued by my husband, who ought to be on my side. And in the end, while I've gone back home to give birth to our child, you single-handedly bring along your mother to boot. 
We could have been a team, Troy. Do you think this one thing you've done measures up to that? Well, that would depend on who you asked. I don't believe it measures up at all. So, I'm divorcing you and having you pay child support. Have any issues with that? Because I've had it with you and your mother. Give me a break. You're making way too many extra issues out of this. Oh yeah? I'm the one who's made these issues? Think again. This is all happening because of your selfish decisions. Didn't I tell you? I told you, you're becoming a parent. So find a minimal sense of responsibility to deal with the fact that you have a kid in this world. No time like the present to start in on that. That was the end of Troy and me. We got divorced right after our baby was born. There was no history of us sharing the childcare costs. But I was the mother, and I had a stable place to go after the divorce. I moved in with my parents. I got custody of our child. And I made sure that jerk paid for every penny of the child support. As soon as he divorced me, he ran back to his mother and told her everything. I knew he would do that, so I just played along with his mom until then. It was all a joke to me. But if I had stayed with him, I would have had to deal with his mom and him, plus a new baby. This whole mess was a wake-up call for me, so I don't care about him anymore. Now I live happily with my child at my parents' house. I don't know how my child will grow up without a father, but I don't regret getting divorced. I will give my child all the love and care I can.